Hello, good people. I am Crystal Keys, and welcome to Workplace Keys to Success, a channel that brings you an unfiltered, no-nonsense approach to surviving workplace bullying. We have been in a three-part series discussion of quitting your job under extreme stress, abuse, toxic work environments, and workplace bullying. If we don't strategically plan our departure, it can have negative effects and impacts. I want to provide you with some considerations as you make your decision. Don't quit your job yet. Well, before we proceed, I want to remind you to subscribe and like and share your experience below kindly. Share your successful strategies. Let's help others overcome workplace bullying. Well, most individuals cannot freely leave a job whenever they want. However, to delay your departure could result in negative health and physical impacts, further bullying, your performance, production decreases, a tarnished reputation, or even termination. The decision to quit your job should be a strategic move. When is the right time to quit a job? It is important to assess your career growth, your current job, and function at least once a year. When is the right time to quit a job? It is important to assess your career growth, your current job, and function at least once a year. A job search has to be entered with a strategy and timing is essential. Should we wait to quit a job to look for another or should we maximize where we currently work? Finding a new job while still employed is challenging. A misstep could cause you to be terminated or have a tarnished reputation. Be discreet. Do not use company resources to look for jobs. Do not slander your current employer. You are more appealing to potential employers if you are currently employed. Now keep that in mind. You can successfully job search while you are employed. Well, I want to give you six reasons you should not quit your job. You should not quit if you don't know what job you want to look for. Research, research, research. If you don't have a computer, use the library. You can start creating a LinkedIn profile. You can search for jobs on LinkedIn, indeed, and definitely use salary.com. Salary.com will help you gauge your salary range. Number two, you are not qualified for the jobs you are looking for. Again, research, research, research. Your job search should include attainable positions and roles, most often similar to the work you are already doing or level up. You could also choose a lateral move. Number three, you have the ability to pursue outside interest while employed. If you can work on a side interest that you are passionate about or your own business aspirations that does not conflict, with your current job, you may want to continue with your current job until you are ready to propel on your own. Number four, you want to change your life as a whole. If you want to make a big change in your life, searching for a new job may not be the launching pad you need. A life coach may be what you need. A career advisor may be needed to help you figure out what you want to do. Number five, you have a possible promotion on the horizon. If there is a clear sign from your organization that a promotion is soon, like within a year, or if you feel you are close to a promotion, quitting may not be a good decision unless you are dealing with a toxic environment or organization, then you wouldn't want to stay there anyway. Number six, you haven't explored open positions where you are within the organization you're in. Is it possible to improve your situation and look for another position within your organization? If you work for a toxic organization, another position 
within the organization may not be the answer. Well, implementing an ultimatum for yourself is vital to determine your next move. Sometimes we need help deciding what to do concerning our health and our mental stability, which influences whether we should stay or quit. Please remember to include your therapist and physician in the decision process. Together, they should be able to give you advisement to help you make the ultimatum for yourself. Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, our time is up, but let's stay connected by you subscribing. Subscribing will allow for the provision of notifications of new content on a weekly basis. Thank you for tuning in and have a great work week.